At around 6 a.m., our car pulls in the parking of Akagera National Park headquarters. We are received by Denise Mugwaneza. Hey, how, how are, are you? you? I'm fine, thank you. You're well? You are most welcome. My um, name is Ethan. Uh -huh, my name is Denise. Yeah. And uh, I'm Parker Guide here. So you're welcome. Thank you. She walks me through the health guideline protocols so before leading me to the cafe to grab a cup of hot coffee, a sensible recommendation before a cold morning safari drive. So here we have a coffee shop. Oh, nice. I think you can order some cup. How is it? That's good. Nice. That's good. Okay. I'm ready for a morning safari ride. I see. After clearing all the routine protocols, the park management has allowed us full access to a much anticipated safari experience. And Denise is our tour guide of the day. But there is a small map of our park. And uh, now we are here. Uh, actually, this is the beginning of our safari. Yes. We're going to use like uh, five hours of uh, approximately six, five to six, yeah. Denise has been guiding tourists for more than 13 years. At the age of 19, right after completing high school, Denise began her career as a tour guide in Akagera National Park. She fully understands the wildlife and animal behavior in this facility. You know, even animals are having the same different behavior. You know, people are living in the water. Yeah, you cannot uh, you cannot see them like on the hills during the day it's very rare it can happen but it's very rare akagera national park is home to a variety of wildlife including the deadliest animals but denise asserts that this is not a threat to her because this is a job she enjoys doing despite experiencing a few scary encounters with some of the animals uh one day yeah i have uh Kicked with the elephant, with an elephant. Oh. Yeah, with a beast. It was really terrible. But uh, uh, nothing special happened as as uh, getting in the car. Yeah, we were we were in the car, yeah. but the car was, was destroyed. Akagera National Park has ten huge water bodies, including Lake Hago. Upon reaching here. We found a few hippos and crocodiles floating on the water, with others basking in the morning sun in the nearby bushes. This lake is called Hago. Hago. Yeah, okay. it's uh, like a third biggest lake in, uh, in the park, after Ihema and Ilguanya Chizinga. We are just a few meters away from the lake. Mm -hmm. uh, this is scary, isn't it? No, actually this, this, uh, this distance is, is not, not for us. Yeah, even for the animals. Do you think we can do no, this? no, no. This one is here. Yeah. This is enough. Yes. For um, 13 years. Yes. Doing the same job. Yes. On a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Doesn't that actually get bored at some time? As I may say, as I may say, each day is unique for me. I feel it. It's my passion. I I really love it. Okay. Akagera National Park is internationally known for its diverse wildlife, including the Big Five, the buffaloes, rhinos, elephants, leopards and lions. It took us two days to meet the mighty kings of the jungle. Look at the lions. Please try to open your, the window yeah. of the car. You can have a good uh, spot. Let's see. Yeah. Are you able to see? Yes. But it's a small pride. How many uh, do we have? Uh, nowadays we have roughly 40. Yeah, 40. Four lions, yes. And I see that pride has only one male. Other four remaining are females. They look peaceful. Please be quiet. Giraffes are some of the common animals in Akagera National Park. They were translocated from Kenya, donated by the Kenyan authorities in 1986. There were six back then, but they have grown into hundreds. They are actually between 100 and 120. On the second day of our trip, Denise took us on a boat trip on Lake Ihema. Lake Ihema is the second biggest lake in Rwanda, after Lake Kivu. Shock briefing uh, related to, to our activity. Thank you. My name is Innocent, I'm boat captain and park guide as well. Nice to meet with you. Welcome, uh, well, almost welcome in Akagira National Park. 
touring lake Hema is a rare activity for visitors to Akagera National Park. The lake is 90 square kilometers wide with a depth of between 5 to 7 meters. Dagijimana Innocent is our boat captain. He has been in the conservation industry for over 15 years. Innocent has worked with the NIS for the last 13 years. The boat captain reserved special praise for his female colleague. Yeah, Denise, uh, she's a female guide and she's working uh, very well. Since I know, I, I knew her, she's working very well, she's knowledgeable, she's trying to make an effort and to make a difference. Because many people, they, they say, you no, know, the, the men, they give uh, maximum service, but I can say through that Denise, she's giving maximum service, even sometimes more than men's. 34-year-old Denise is a trained conservationist with degree in environmental management from the Catholic University of uh, Kabai, the Diploma you, in you Wildlife Conservation from Chitabi yes, College no, 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 of Conservation no, no, no. and Environmental Management, currently known as IPLC Chitabi. Besides ensuring that tourists enjoy the beautiful scenery of Akagera National Park, Denise strives to inspire as many girls as possible into the conservation and tourism industry. Yeah, I can encourage the women in general to, to love this because when you're in this environment, you are always happy, you know? You can live longer. <laughs> yes, yeah. 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 And uh, another thing, most of the, the, the women, they are scared of uh, living in uh, such kind of uh, environment because uh, uh, they are scared of snakes and animals. Other people, they say that uh, this, is a, uh, this is a job for all men, but uh, the things that I can tell them they can be like, how can I say, don't, what, what men can do, even females can, can it's, it's really possible. Denise works day and night. Whenever duty calls, she's ready to jump on the next safari car into the wilderness. I asked if my crew could join her on the night safari drive. She graciously accepted. Actually, night game uh, safari, it is an activity done at night and uh, it starts by 5.30 to 8 or 8.30. Yeah, the purpose is to looking for nocturnal animals and uh, to look this kind of uh, environment uh, during the night time. Yeah. Akagera Park received 19,500 visitors in 2019 and the numbers dropped to 15,800 in 2020 due to COVID-19 pandemic. This year, the number of visitors to the park is expected to exceed 20,000 according to the officials. Of the total number of visitors to Akagera, 50% are Rwandan nationals, 32% are foreigners coming outside Rwanda, while 18% of the visitors are foreign nationals living in Rwanda. An adult Rwandan is required to pay 15,000 Rwandan francs to visit Akagera National Park, while children under the age of five can access the park free of charge. For those between the ages of six to 12, they are required to pay 10,000, while foreigners pay 100 US dollars to visit the park. Day and night, on the land and on the sea, the NIS will take you there to make sure you enjoy your experience in Akagera National Park. It's people like her that make a difference in Rwanda's conservation, making the country one of the leading tourism destinations in the world. Reporting for RTV News, Ethan Tashabia on Lake Ihema in Akagera National Park.